Find out on Friday how much SI you'll receive. Extra income for Social Security in this video. I will provide you all the information you need. Hi! Everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, George, here to update you. In this video, our exclusive attention is directed at Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and the approximately 8 million people who do depend on these benefits on a monthly basis. I would like to discuss Friday and the amount you may expect to receive each month from now on. Additionally, are you aware that your paycheck is due on Friday? If your knowledge of that was lacking, can you believe the unexpected gift you're receiving? Because there is a lot of misinformation and widespread misunderstanding surrounding this topic, which I will attempt to dispel in this video, I think it is time to dive into the details and explain everything. Let's jump right in and discuss SI in your payment amount this Friday and every month after that. Quickly, if you haven't already, I really appreciate you being here with me. It would be quite beneficial for you if you were to be sure to subscribe at the bottom of the video. There are a lot of bills, packages, and proposals circulating to reform these programs and increase funding for those on fixed incomes. I'm keeping a close eye on all of these and will bring them to your attention as soon as they become public. And I'm here for you every single day by your side, watching the newest details as they hit the wire and breaking them down into these short videos. We are all aware that this is a busy time, and everything is changing. In addition to everything else that is available to you, including, but not limited to, please let me know your SSI amount by this coming Friday and every month after that. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. There seems to be conflicting information and a lot of misunderstanding surrounding certain financial sums that are circulating. According to new information from the Social Security Office and how it may affect your benefit each month, it seems like there's a lot to cover, doesn't it? We can get through this rather fast, though, so it's not entirely out of the question. Sure thing to begin. What recent news has come out of Social Security, and how does it impact your ability to receive SSI? Is that correct? Very well. This is the crux of the matter from a few months ago. We have the Social Security notification regarding the 3.2% COLA cost of living adjustment, haven't we? That 3.2% is crystal clear. I feel the need to constantly stress this point, even though we aren't particularly enthusiastic about it. Yep, we are not fond of the 3.2. Yes, I think so too. Seriously, it's terrible. It is of low quality. Keep in mind, though, that things could have turned out far worse. Maybe it was zero. There was a real possibility that it was zero. They are under no obligation to contact us annually. Therefore, the fact that our percentage was 3.2% instead of 0% is all that matters. Everything seems to be in order. Isn't that so? I agree with you 100% that we should have earned a lot more. But alas, there is nothing we can do about it. So, let's simply shift our perspective a bit to shift the focus. Sure, the COLA is a factor. Nevertheless, beginning in 2023, SSI recipients will see a $29 monthly increase from $914, with the maximum payment reaching $943. Keep in mind, this is the maximum benefit for an individual in. What will your combined income be in 2024? Okay. You're free to try again. In 2024, a married couple can earn up to $14, $15 each month, but just because it's the maximum doesn't mean you'll automatically get it. <sighs> right, here are the figures. Don't forget that in 2023, the most amount you could receive as a married couple was $13.71. So, it went up. Next week, yes, you will get paid on Friday. If you are married, your income will increase from $1371 to $1415 in 2024. If you are an individual, your income will be $943. On Friday, you are correct. As an SSI recipient, you receive your money on a monthly basis, doesn't it? So, you know what? Can we call the first one a holiday? This occurs annually. And one of the reasons why December is often a good time is because, among other things, SSI recipients have access to a special perk during this month. In this case, you're getting paid three days ahead of schedule, which is a significant perk. I mean, this is pretty awesome, isn't it? 
Let me tell you something. Will the new year begin on Monday? What exactly is it? January 1 est, isn't it? I nearly forgot what it was called. Apologies. By the way, what exactly is the vacation? Sure enough, we're ringing in the new year. Apologies. I was having a moment of epiphany. I deeply regret that. It had just occurred to me as for the specifics. New Year's Day is on Monday, or more accurately, all day Monday, I know, I know. It's not always Monday morning, but it is Monday, isn't it? That day, clearly, you will not receive payment. Sunday is not going to be a paid day. On Saturday, you will not receive payment. That means your paycheck is scheduled for Friday the 29th fee. <sighs> Fantastic is that. This is pretty standard procedure, and it occurs annually. However, in this case, when the first falls on a Monday, you will now receive payment as early as the Friday prior. But sometimes, for example, if the first one falls on a Tuesday, so, you know what? The usual due date is the 31 Steve, but in this instance, it's the 29 Thee, so you'll be a few days ahead of schedule. Therefore, that is the last point at this point. How do I tell if the information I've seen is false? Oh my, it's completely disorganized. It seems that the folks behind these reports and headlines often come up with wildly varied figures, albeit I have seen a lot of various things. 27 has been reported in the news. Apologies, but $2,000 will be dispersed for SSI on Friday. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, so if you're interested in tinkering with a lot of statistics and exploring various angles, here's the deal. So no, it is still not going to take place. While $2,000 won't happen, a married couple who each receive the maximum can theoretically collect up to $2,000 in December if they fool around with a bunch of numbers. Very well. That's a small percentage of the population. To clarify, the amount is not $2,700. You can expect to receive a maximum of $943 as an individual and $1,415 as a married couple on Friday if you've been seeing something similar. In the end, it's all that matters. All right. If you've been a long-time viewer of my videos on the channel, you know that I've been here for you every single day. I bring all the information. I am not here to blow smoke. This is the situation. It's not my intention to fabricate a number of falsehoods. There is no mistaking the current situation. If you want to verify anything I say here, you can easily do so by looking it up. Indeed, this is spot on. You may stop worrying about this. It's already part of your usual monthly payout. I only have one more thing to mention fast. In January, you will.